everybody to another amazing space engineers video yes here we are it's so insane first time ever making a chonk ship that's gonna stay and it has a new color scheme would you look at that beautiful i could cry of course it is a little more purple than uh i'd like it to be actually no i like it i like that violetly lit color and you know it emphasizes our chonk empire and makes us seem more dangerous and out there not afraid of anything now again you just watched that how incredibly amazing that was did you did you like that shit did you really you really enjoyed it didn't you i know you did i know you did so go on just click like subscribe do that fucking shit and it's it's gonna be great i promise you it's gonna be amazing you'll see more more and more and more and more of my stuff and you will soon love this channel as many of you already do now let's get into this shit so here it is a beautiful design the chonk barracuda class frigate and i know i know what you may be thinking it's a uh, it's a little different you know you don't see any turrets on the ship it is pretty much all just artillery guns and that is what it's designed for this ship is designed for frontal assaults in any direction it can protect itself from the back from the sides from the front all of these cannons have a full range of motion and allow from which allows it to attack and defend from any side as you can see the turrets are placed in such a way that it is impenetrable if you attack it from any sides and honestly i quite like this design it really brings out the ship it just it, it flows so well like a barracuda it attacks anything it's pretty much one of the most vicious predators out there and it, it it's slim and small so not quite shark like but it's i, I don't know I, I felt like it was very fitting but yes, here it is. It's amazing. I really like this. And let's just take a little closer look at these turrets and how I built them and designed them. As you can see, it's a simple turret. I've done it on the Basilisk. I've done it in many ships. And I actually have a video that I did a larger version of this turret, which is pretty much the same thing, just condensed into a, a smaller configuration. But essentially, all it is is a turret with the turret control module and a hinge did i say rotor I meant rotor hinge rotor turret control that's it that's all you need and of course the weapon and a camera now to build these you may think well that must have been a little hard to individually build each of these turrets however it was not because i copy and pasted it the only thing that was a problem was hooking up the advanced rotors uh, which all you have to do is once all the advanced rotors are placed on the ship you just copy and paste these turrets onto the rotor. And it's able to do that because this turret, everything on the turret is saved onto the turret block, which is in here. Uh, probably not the best spot for it, but if you think about it, if you destroy this module, wherever it is on the ship, the turret doesn't work. So, but if you destroy the turret, the turret doesn't work. So you might as well just put it in the turret because then I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to get at. So building it like that, I was able to place them, just simply copy and paste them, and then adjust the settings and make sure that the rotors are all uh, with the corresponding turret on each side. And I just went ahead and named all the rotors and made sure that they were all going to the top left turret, top bottom right turret, and whatever, like each direction, and back top right turret, and so forth. Now, in terms of inspiration, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Of course, like I have this basilisk style that I've been doing for all of my Tundarian ships. But, you know, the chalk really doesn't have a style that I like really kind of thought about. I've just been kind of building random shapes and then coloring it blue, saying it's a part of the chalk army. But I feel like this fully represents what I want in an uh, imperialistic approach. You know, we've got that typical triangle design like star destroyers but that is for the utmost ability to attack from every side i have these flared out parts and higher parts at the back so if you look the levels of the turrets are like higher at the back 
So that allows almost all the guns, if you are at a certain range, for all of them to pretty much aim at you and shoot. So pretty much like 300 blocks away, if you're getting closer, it's harder for all of them to hit you. But 300 blocks and farther is pretty much the dead zone. This ship will be able to destroy you, shred you with every single one of its shots. Of course, as well as it also kind of tapers out, they're not completely aligned with each other. So just again, allowing for a better firing arc. And the design I wanted to have was to kind of like implement these negative spaces, which I find really interesting. If you can see right here, it has no purpose, obviously, but it looks really cool. It kind of just like uh, uh, negates. It, it, it kind of looks like just like a blade or like maybe it's some sort of piping, whatever. And I actually continued the style with this lighter gray blast door block. And I also incorporated another color, which is shown more on the interior which is this brown color. And it's just, just another little color I wanted to add. It didn't really serve any purpose, but I thought it looked pretty cool. Also to give the inside of the ship kind of a different feel, you know, a cozier, warmer feel that we would provide for all of our chalk soldiers. Now I didn't want anything pronounced when it came to a thruster. So I wanted to keep everything kind of tucked inside. Like I really wanted this ship to kind of be like a bulbous uh, structure around the essentials of it, unlike my Tundari ship, um, the Basilisk actually has three pronounced engine cells that you could specifically target, whereas this ship kind of just builds the ship around the thrusters, which keeps them well protected, well defended, unless you were able to make a complete attack run. But if you notice, if you come at this ship from the back, all four of these cannons can hit you. and yeah, maybe it's just four artillery cans, but I'm sure it's going to do some damage to your ship before you even get close. Now for defense, it does not have any fighter support whatsoever. I know that may be a problem, but this frigate is designed to destroy and annihilate the Basilisk before it can even send out its fighters. All right, so let's take this ship for a little bit of a test run, shall we? So ideally, we'd be in a situation where we have our target right there in front of us and we have all of our guns kind of facing forward. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move in, we're gonna take some shots, and hopefully we can survive long enough that we won't blow up, but deal some significant damage. Here we go, we'll get a better shot here. We'll kind of move in to attack range. As you can see, kind of missing those shots there. Basilis is firing back. There we go. Taking some good shots there. Again. In terms of damage, uh, not doing too good for the uh, chonk ship. So let's just kind of back off a bit. Kind of regroup. So the problem with uh, the Basilisk, or not problem, I guess the good thing about the Basilisk, is it has kind of like a directional attack. So the Basilisk has to like tip up to shoot it with its like very absurd volley of auto cannons. Okay, well, our thrusters actually just got shot and uh, we're drifting away. So that kind of sucks. But mind you, we don't have a repair system, so it, it does need some work. Yeah, ideally, I, I need to perfect it. I understand that, but it's a pretty cool base. Anyways, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Remember to subscribe, share to all your friends, show this cool ship I have designed for all of you to win this. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next. And as always, stay thick, stay chunk, stay beautiful. This has been your Lord Playing Space Engineers, now signing off.